So Power and Truth is a youth development conference that we host every year. This year is the 18th annual Power and Truth Conference. So the whole gist of this conference, it originally started as an alcohol, tobacco, and other drugs education program. And as it's progressed and gained notoriety, it's developed into more of what is plugging our teens national trends, what's, what teens want to know about, what they have questions about. So it's expanded to more than just substance abuse. It covers all kinds of social aspects as well. We have texting and driving that impacts teens. We have what's coming after high school. So many teens don't know what to plan for next. So we have really made this an all-encompassing youth development conference so these kids can really prepare for what's coming in the future. We have been finding that this has been going on for 18 years. And then a lot of our school system people know what's going on. A lot of the community doesn't know what's going on. Sometimes parents have questions about what their kids are doing for this program. So what we want to do this year is we want to make Power and Truth as big to the schools, just as big in the community. So our big push this year is pit expansion. Um, additionally to that, a lot of what we want to do is take the education that these kids are learning at this conference and share it with the schools. So it's great that we can impact the 500 kids that are here, but then what happens when the kids go back to school? So we want to get these educational messages to the other kids at school. So we're doing some youth development activities as well. And our keynote speaker, actually Casey Bethel, is going to be helping us with those activities in the school system. We partner with the Douglas County School System, and um, particularly Mr. Sean Roach. He is someone who helps us coordinate with the schools, so they have what we call school advisors. So in the past, we've had people who are on staff at the schools who have been involved with the conference, and they will hand select students based on if they're leadership, skills, um, students who are looking for uh, any opportunities to gain more experience, or kids who maybe just need the information about this conference, and they'll pick those group of kids and bring them to the conference. So they're hand selected to be here. There is no cost. It is absolutely free. Um, the school system, like I said, is a great partner. They will transport the kids in. It really is a true day. They'll bus the kids to and from. They have Chick-fil-A for lunch, which is a big selling point, and they, so they have a great keynote speaker every year, and then really great educational classes that truly can benefit these kids. So some of the breakout sessions, like I said, are some of the key substances that we talked about, which is the foundation for the conference. So there's an alcohol, marijuana, prescription drugs, heroin, and meth. So those trending um, drug topics. As well, we have some social topics. So we have a big texting and driving class because that new law just passed in July. So we want our kids to know about what's going on with that and how bad distracted driving can really be and how it really is impactful to not text and drive. As well, we have a human trafficking section. We have uh, social media and you. We have cyberbullying. Um, we have uh, e-cigarettes, um, all kinds of stuff. Uh, healthy relationships and self-esteem. Uh, one big thing is cultural diversity and acceptance. And as well, like I said, just knowing what comes next. That's a big class this year is next steps. So planning what is gonna come after high school. Do I go to college? Do I enter the workforce? How do I decide what the best choice for me this year is? That's a big one that's new this year. We love our volunteers and we are always recruiting volunteers. Like this is a huge conference, so the more the merrier when it comes to this, to this event. So you're welcome to sign up. We do um, promotion through the newspaper sometimes. We do uh, online uh, promotion as well for volunteers, internal staff. We talk, you know, friends of friends of friends kind a networking thing. So like I said, volunteers are needed and if you have any questions about that you can always contact Cobb and Douglas Public Health and ask for the Adolescent Health and Youth Development Department and we can uh, connect you for next year's volunteerment as well. And like I said, sponsors are a big thing too. This is a 100% sponsored event. All of the community members in Douglas County, a lot of organizations in Douglas County, uh, the Georgia Department of Public Health, they all contribute to making this conference possible. And as well as community members who give time from their day, our facilitators donate their time as professionals to come here and educate these students. So like I said, it really is a group effort and that's what makes it so great.